Territorians will go to the polls to elect their next government on Saturday the 18th of August. Putting the territory first. Labour has its best ever chance of taking power. I would say definitively that the Labour Party is in great shape and we're ready to go. Labour has released an independent economic analysis. If they have fully costed our policies and we will be only announcing policies that have come within this framework. Polling tells us that Territorians do believe it's time, but what they want to see are the plans and the enthusiasm and the energy from Labor, and we've got it. Building a better territory, making this the best place on earth. Building a better territory, putting the territory first. Labor and government will commit $14 million to a radiotherapy oncology unit. Putting the territory first. Home buyers in the Territory have been promised a better deal under a Labor government. The exemption on stamp duty for first homeowners hasn't changed in over a decade. The cost of houses, as we all know, has gone up almost double in that time. Ms Martin says all Darwin suburbs could eventually have underground power. The entire program would take something like 80 million and we've given a 10-year commitment to that. There's not often in politics you can make announcements that you really are very delighted about. So I'm very proud to announce today that Bob Collins has accepted my offer to be the Territory's investment ambassador. I fully endorse Claire Martin's plan to build a better Territory. Together, we can build a better territory. Putting the territory first. Hello, vote Labor. Vote Labor.